Hello fellow warriors against consensus reality. I thought I'd put out a video on my um, quote unquote main channel today. I've been um, putting work into my pagan monk channel, which is good. Um, it seems to be um, small enough at 35 subscribers to evade um, YouTube's goose stepping algorithm. <laughs> so uh, and it, it's sort of fun to put into um, work into that my more um, esoteric channel I suppose and uh, It's kind of funny because I'm getting more views on there than I have some subscribers. <laughs> so that's pretty damn good. That's like a 125-30% success rate. Woohoo! Let's hope it um, continues to evade YouTube's goose-stepping algorithmic horde. Right? And, um... Interesting things going on. Um... For those who pay attention, of course, um, the um, well, firstly, the the subscriber um, bleeding has sort of clotted at 415 currently. So, um, hopefully, um, YouTube realizes that that's actually enough. No, I was nowhere near um, getting 1,000. Neither do I want to get 1,000 and have anything to do with. Um, your monetization bullshit. So as a lovely Irish would say at this point, go boil your heads. The, for those who um, who are playing at home, that's actually um, taken from a wonderful 1980s computer game called King of Chicago. It was the um, catchphrase of the um, the mob king Pinky Callahan. When someone would annoy him, he would say, go boil your heads. But, um, it, it, it's interesting times, um, going around, um, not only mainstream online, but in your own life, you look around and, uh, it seems that, um, normal wonderful everyday working people are getting put through the ringer more than they were before jumping through more hoops going through more difficulties just to do normal everyday things like apply for a new job <laughs> in my case and um or even just pay the bills it's, um, if you look at the numbers, I, I, I find this sort of disturbing um, in the extreme. And wonderful people like uh, Nerdrotic have uh, commented on it as well. He calls it the, um, the huge transfer of wealth, which it is. Um, if you're noticing how many multi, multi billion dollar companies are making record profits while, um, the statistics he he quoted was um, small businesses have lost up to two hundred billion dollars. You could see where things are going. It's not the multi-million dollar and multi-billion dollar corporations that are losing its people. Family-run businesses. Oh, and Guitar Center, and that's probably a good thing considering from all my American friends uh, what gobshites they are. So hopefully that means people go back to the um, family-owned uh, guitar stores again. So fuck you, Guitar Center. That's actually the one bit of good news. But uh, it's not mega corporations that are losing out. It's family-run small businesses. And that pisses me off more than anything else in this scamdemic. Because when all is said and done, it's just another bad strain of of the fucking flu. 
people aren't dying in the streets, dropping like flies, like the the uh, fear mongering um, mainstream media would have you believe back in early March, which caused all these fucking idiots in this country to go out and stockpile on toilet paper. Um, the same country which is um, making it more difficult for someone to apply for a, for a new job who wasn't born here. I'm being put through the ring over that right now. Oh, we need further proof that you're an Australian citizen. And yeah, that was a cause of a lot of run around and a lot of stress the other day. So it's quite ironic that it's so much easier for me to um, live and work in Europe right now than it is to apply for a job in Australia considering I've been here for almost 48 fucking years another reason why I fucking hate this country so much and I don't belong here but uh, yeah it's small businesses that are hurting um, and that's a, the thing that's really pissing me off. And um, more fear mongering, more. Um, oh, if you want to go to concerts again, you will have to take a vaccine. Um, you mean a vaccine which only took months instead of years to develop with no um, documented uh, side effects yet? Yeah, good luck with that one. And meanwhile, people are forced to work longer hours as a result for um, the same crappy pay. Or uh, you might be facing um, mental health issues as a result of all this, in certain countries, um, extended lockdowns and all this fucking bullshit. Especially those of us who actually enjoy and need to go out and about for a good long walk every day. Yeah, that that wouldn't work for me, I'm afraid, being stuck at home all day every day. No. And I know that's fucking up with a lot of people and you better believe the um, the cases of suicide are skyrocketing at the moment. But of course you won't hear that on the, on the mainstream media. They're too, they're too busy um, catering to the unwashed masses of the... Um, Corona cult. It really is. It's turning into a fucking religion. You see the way that these gob traits are when they're um, when you when they enter a shop where where hand holy hand sanitizer is presented. You can almost see the um the, the religious orgasm on their face. Take a walk, uh, even where I live, down the mall. And you'll see all the um, for lease signs on the empty shop fronts. Let alone somewhere like New York. I can just fucking imagine. And because people are stuck at home, they're forced to deal with the usual family bullshit more than they ever have before, which co of course causes more conflict and all the rest of that and more stress for people stress is a number one killer it's a silent killer and yet with all this going on um, all that I've mentioned now is can be potentially fuel for um, inner transformation and um, has been for me lately actually um, I, like many of us, are going through, well, let's just say channel challenging, very challenging times. Um, losing one job and getting no payout, redundancy payout now because they found a, a way around it by keeping my entitlements and keeping my part-time permanent status. So they pay me nothing. So my crappy pay continues with nothing extra to boost it. Don't you fucking love the modern corporate world? And so when life gives you lemons, what do you do? 
you learn to make the best lemonade you can. So, of course, this has taught me effective budgeting. I know this is something that um, you women will find difficult. You don't need that hundredth pair of shoes. And as much as I would love a, um, a Brian Setzer signature a Gretsch guitar right now, um, that's fairly low on the priority scale. And that's fine. And so this has been a great exercise in um, looking within, finding one's own strength, calling upon the, um, the deep inner reserves of one's own strength and um, ingenuity. We really don't give ourselves enough credit most of the time. And when push comes to shove, as the saying goes, we're capable of some quite amazing things if we allow ourselves and that's the whole point of this thing and usually we are such a stubborn species that it usually takes something dramatically negative like what is what i just described to kick to receive a much needed swift kick in the pants and get moving engaging in some of that wonderful kinetic energy Instead of the victim, the perpetual victim, woe is me energy. Especially when ego mind doesn't want you to change anything because ego mind is a master of um, complacency comfort. However, the opportunity for deep inner transformation is is there. Uh, which kind of leads me to a thought which, um, which I shared with someone in, in my comments fairly recently um, with all that's going on in the external world really the only thing you can change is your your own inner world and um, I've sort of come across the importance of um, entering your own what I call your own um, inner mountain monastery where you retreat from the fuckery of what you read in the news and what have you and engage in your own and seek your own inner peace, inner strength, inner power. And so you can be surrounded by this fuckery going, malevolent chaos, fuckery going around, but not be too affected by it. And again, this is the power of um, such wonderful things like archetypes and um, mythology, which, of course, the, the the woke agenda, which is why they're trying to destroy it all. And uh, and a, a little amusing thing. Oh, I thought I'd sort of check out a MGTOW live stream. Um, I have quite a bit of regard for this gentleman and... Uh, he had a, a live stream during my Saturday morning and um, I thought I'd go in and check it out and chat with some of the guys and uh, for the most part it, it went quite well uh, until I sort of made a a Loki-esque comment which of course was not um, approved so someone sort of obviously one of the moderators obviously chose to um, ignore <laughs> and I'll quote it here shall I? I just found it sort of amusing that um, it was not allowed to uh, appear in the live chat. What's wrong? Um, what's wrong? All sports? Um, cutting too close to the bone, is it? Yeah, truth usually does. I'll quote it here, shall I? I just I simply said, and I quote: "There's no greater enemy to a man than his own inner bitch, constantly spouting self-defeating condescension." Unquote. And true words have never been spoken. Call it what you will. Your inner critic. Um, the little voice of ego mind. Your inner bitch. It all amounts to the same. It's that constant voice of self-defeating negativity and fear. That we all engage in. Why that was not uh, allowed to go through? I don't know. Maybe someone got their little pink panties in a knot. Who knows? So many of you, you guys too, focus on red pill, blue pill. I think you need to 
focus more on whether you're wearing pink panties or not. Get your head out of your backside and face the truth. Face your own real reflection in the mirror and do some deep head smashing uh, transformation when you need to. Yeah, it's tough. Yeah, you're going to feel like crap. But yeah, it's fucking necessary. Truth hurts. There's a reason why that that is a thing. But truth is necessary. If you want to conquer your own inner bitch. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Uh, be well, be wise, be courageous. Be the warrior and... When I say the warrior, I don't mean engaging in real world violence. I mean facing your real self and conquering your own inner bitch. It's that simple. Using adversity to your advantage, using it as fuel in your crucible of inner transformation. There's some inner alchemy for you. For fuck's sake. The lone wolf on guitar. Out.